In this short video, I'm going to show you how to bulk create Pinterest pins so that you can save time and get more done. I find that batching your work makes you more productive. And this technique is going to show you how you could create feasibly 50, 100 pins in a few minutes. It's not difficult, but you are going to need a few tools. So I'm over here at my Japan Pinterest account. I've been focusing on this for the past two months to try and get the numbers up. And so far up to about 100,000 monthly views. And you can see that I've got 79 pins scheduled. The maximum number you can schedule using the Pinterest native scheduler at any one time is 100. There are third party tools, but I prefer to use the native scheduler. So I wanna go ahead and bulk create some pins. But before we do that, we have to make sure that we're creating the right kind of pin. So I have an article here, which is titled Seven Scenic Spots Along the Nakasendo Trail, Explore Japan's Historic Path. Now, Before I start bulk creating pins to get traffic back to this article, we need to do a little bit of due diligence and check what keywords we can focus on. So I went to pin clicks and I typed in Nakasendo and that brought up Nakasendo Trail and Nakasendo Trail Japan, which have a combined search volume of just over 840 searches per month. So not massive, but it's better than a kick in the nuts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and target both of these keywords and bulk create several pins. So we go back here, I decided to open up Harper AI and I got Harper AI to list the different places and make sure that they were all caps. Now, a mistake that a lot of people make is they will go through their H2 tags and they will create pins targeting each H2 tag. However, a lot of these words are not words that get searched on Pinterest. Nakasendo Trail Japan does, Nakasendo Trail does, but no one's really searching for these keywords because a lot of tourists don't even know that these are actual places. What this allows us to do, it allows us to have seven pins that we are going to create very shortly. Each pin is going to target the keyword Nakasendo Trail, but it's going to have a slightly different focus. And each time we link, we are going to link to a certain section of our blog post. And I'll show you that in a second. So let's go and actually create these pins. So we're going to need two things. We're going to need Canva, and I have a template here ready to use. This is a Pinterest template. This is actually a template which was part of a pack that I bought on Etsy, but you can use the ones that Canva provides. These are 1000 by 1500 pixels. And we also need to have, and if we go back here, we need to have all of our H2 tags in a Google Sheet. So here we are over at Google Sheets. I've called mine Nakasendo. I'm gonna come down to the first column, but I'm gonna click on the second cell and just hit paste. This pastes everything in all caps. Now, some of these are a little bit long, so I'm just going to delete the words post down here. I'm gonna do the same here. This isn't something you need to do, but I just know from experience, if the text is too long, it doesn't always show up. And I think this is fine. I'm gonna get rid of the word forests as well. From here, I'm going to click on file. I'm then gonna hover over download and then download this as a CSV file and it downloads up there. I'm just gonna drop this off screen onto my computer. We are then going to go back over here to Canva. Now, what we'll need to do is we'll need to make sure that all of this is correct before we actually go and connect that Google Sheet to the actual template. So Islands in Japan doesn't make sense for what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Nakasendo uh, Trail and just confirm on pin clicks it was Nakasendo Trail, Nakasendo Trail Japan. So what I'm going to do is come back over here and I'm just going to manually put this in, Nakasendo Trail hyphen Japan. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it kind of fits in. There we go. I'm going to bring this down a little bit, bring this up a little bit, just play around. Now I'm going to change the font. I'm going to go with Oswald, which is just a font that I personally like. So we'll click on Oswald, that's made it bigger. So let's just bring it down a little bit more. Now we're gonna make it bold and make it smaller again. A Little bit of playing around, we'll click on effects, we'll click on outline. I'm then going to highlight everything. I don't want this to be a black font. I'm gonna click on this and change it to white. Then I'm gonna click outside, come back to effects, scroll down, click on this little color circle and change the color. So I might go with something that's red that stands out. So I'll choose kind of a bright ready color and then I'll click outside and make it slightly thicker until we get to a kind of good point. That's cool. For this, I'm going to also come down 
I'm gonna make sure that this is, in fact, I'm gonna leave this as black for now and we'll leave this as yellow. We've got the branding at the bottom, which is cool. So now what I need to do is I need to come on the left-hand side and scroll down until I find apps, click once, then scroll down until you find bulk create, click once. From here, you want to click on upload data and we've got that there, which is our file and we're gonna open this up and then we're gonna make sure that we're hovered over this piece of text. We wanna leave this bit untouched. Hover over this piece of text, click the three dots, click on connect data, and we're gonna click on this because it, the reason it says empty is because if we go here, this is empty. If we put a word here, for example, places or Nakasendo trail, then that would, you know, what be what this, that would be what this says here, but it's empty, it's all good. Click on it once, click on continue, and it's going to create versions of this one for each. Then we're gonna click generate seven designs. Wait for a second, view in folder, new tab's gonna be opened, wait for a second. And then we're gonna click on that one there, which is the first one. And now we have all of these versions here. And we wanna make sure that everything fits in. So that's why I removed some of the text. That one's a bit, um, a bit bigger. So we're just gonna make that a bit smaller. We'll just format that a little bit. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's not. So I might bring this up a little bit just so that fits in. Just play around with this, whoops, not playing nicely, there we go. And that one, similar kind of deal. We'll just play around and bring it up so it fits in. Now what we need to do is make sure that we have relevant images. So you've got several options here. You can use your own images that you can upload. You can use the stock images on Canva or you can use stock images elsewhere. So let's click on elements and let's go up here. And I'm just gonna go for Magma and see if something's here. It may or may not be. Nope, that's finding Magma, which is not cool. Let's click on photos to check. Nope, there's nothing there. So what we'll do is we've got two choices. I can come to my site and use my picture. So if I scroll down here, I've got my picture there of Magame, so I can drag that off screen. Wait for a second. Then what I can do is come back over here to this, click on uploads, drag that in, that's gonna populate, and then I can just drag and hover it and you can see it's there and it populates. And if you want it to be a little bit different, you can move around, so I could potentially move this up now, obviously, if we're going for speed, you won't want to do this, but if you just want to be a bit fussy, you can do that. And now that looks a lot better to me. I could even click on this, click on edit, and come down to filters and see if I can make it stand out a little bit, play around with these. That doesn't look so natural. This fresco one looks cool. So we've got that. Now we want to come through to this one, which is Sumago, which is another you know, place on the trail. So let's pretend that we don't have our image for this. We need to find an image from somewhere. I like to use Invato Elements. Now I do have a license for this. I pay annually and this gives me lifetime commercial rights even if I cancel my account. So I just wanna put Sumago and see what comes in. We've got all items, Sumago will scroll down and you can see we've got these really cool pictures here. So you wanna choose one that you like. So let's go with this one. This has got quite a good feel. So what I'm gonna do is click on download. I'm gonna assign it a license. So that's my Japanese license, click on that. That's downloading it here. So while that's downloading, I can come back here and when it downloads, I can drag and drop it in there and it's gonna upload in a second and I can also drag and drop that there. So we've got that. Same kind of deal. We can move this up. Now again, for if you're really focused on speed, then maybe you wanna choose a different template or you wanna choose one that doesn't cover a lot of the pictures or you can just you know not worry about playing around and you just kind of go through. So let's go and see if I can find something here. So we've got elements and I'm gonna go with Kiso, which is another area, but it might not bring something up. There you go. You know, it doesn't always work. So let's go with uploads and see if I've got something in my uploads. That's actually the Kiso Valley that, that's actually a photo I took. So I'm gonna drag that in there, that's cool. Then we've got Narai Juku. I'm gonna copy this, come over here, plonk that in there, see if anything comes up. We've got these really cool images that I like. So I'm gonna download this one. I'm gonna give it my license, license and download. You wanna make sure you check the license because that gives you the rights to use it. Uh, and we'll then come back, I believe it's not that one. I always get confused, all these tabs that are open. Just drag and drop that over. And we go through this process of you know doing this. So again, get rid of that, bring that across. I'm gonna play around with this and just make sure that these all look good. So what I'm gonna do now is pause the video and just do the other three. 
Okay, so I decided to make a little bit of a change to the template just so that I could get more of the picture in there, but I've created my seven pins. All I need to do now is click on share, click download, and click on download, and now I'm going to be able to bulk download seven pins at once, and then I can begin to upload these to Pinterest, and I'll show you how to schedule your pins in Pinterest, and how you can ensure that while all these go to the same article, you'll be using a unique URL every time. So that'll be the next video. And if you have any questions in the meantime, please leave them below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video soon. Take care.